It's 2024 and AI is everywhere. From smartphones to smart home devices, from PCs to autonomous cars, AI is all around us. And while smartphones have had AI features for nearly half a decade now, what makes the Samsung Galaxy S24 series different is that it's a proper AI phone. It comes with Galaxy AI, which is a bunch of generative AI features that Samsung has packed in. And these are cutting edge features that we have never seen on a smartphone before. Samsung has partnered with Qualcomm to bring the on-device generative AI features of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 SoC to the Galaxy S24 series. And it has a dedicated NPU for faster AI processing. And then there are some features that need cloud processing. And for that, Samsung has partnered with Google Cloud to bring the Gemini LLM or the large language model features to the S24 series. So what are these Galaxy AI features? How do they work? How do they take your smartphone experience to the next level? We'll find out in this video. So let's go and check it out. First up, let's talk about circle to search. Now, search has been an important part of our internet experience. And after nearly two decades, Google and Samsung are changing the way we search. Imagine you're scrolling through your Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts and spot something interesting. You can simply press and hold the home button for a couple of seconds, which will pause the content on the screen. Now, all you need to do is draw a circle on the object and in a few seconds, you'll see relevant search results. We tried the same thing with different types of content, like this action figure here, food, like in this example here. And we got a link to order from a nearby restaurant. And it also works on photos from your gallery or anywhere on the internet to search the location, like this statue, which is in Thailand. Circle to Search combines the power of Google Lens and text search to show relevant results. And it can also be used to translate text from a photo. Language is a major barrier when it comes to communicating in a foreign country, or even if you are communicating with an overseas colleague, or even in countries like India, where people speak around 22 different languages across different states. And Samsung's live translate feature is here to help you with those language barriers. So whether you're making a phone call or sending a text message or even browsing a website, Samsung Galaxy S24 AI powered live translate features is here to enable seamless communication. And the best part, you don't need to jump any apps or even need a working internet connection. All these features work on device and in airplane mode as well. So here is how it works. Like here in the messaging app where I can translate it from English to any other language and vice versa. Or even translating the entire web page like this. Or you can also use it in the interpreter mode to have a conversation with someone just like having a personal interpreter with you all the time. So that was how the Galaxy AI's live translate feature works. The next feature is an interesting one, especially for those who don't want to read those lengthy articles and even for those who want to share those scribbled meeting notes in a nice detailed summary. Powered by Google's Gemini Pro, the feature is called AI summarization and it can quickly condense lengthy articles from web pages and even from Samsung notes into bite-sized summaries, making it easier to consume. Now, when in Samsung internet browser, you will find the star icon on the browser tab where you can choose between short and detailed summaries. You can even translate it in a different language of your choice from the available options. Similarly, on the Samsung Notes app, you can tap on the star icon and get a summary of notes in bullets and headers format. Now, in the voice recorder app, the AI can even transcribe voice to text. It can even summarize it and also translate it into a different language. Do note, 
that an AI summarization feature is a hybrid AI feature, which means it will need an internet connection to work. But for something like voice to text translation and language translation, it can be done offline as it is an on device feature. The next two features will help you get better at texting. Here's how. The first feature is called Chat Assist. And Samsung has built some interesting features right into the keyboard app. So it will let you compose messages, improve your conversational tone from options like professional, casual, polite, or even using emojis. You can even check for spellings and grammar. And this works across all messaging apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, to name a few. Do note that this feature is a part of hybrid AI and will need an internet connection to work. Next, we have Magic Compose feature, which uses Google's Gemini Nano AI to offer pre-composed replies, making it easier for you to communicate. You can keep changing the style of auto-generated replies until you find the right words. You can choose between preset formats like chill, lyrical, or even a Shakespearean tone. And the good part is, the auto-compose feature works completely offline and does not need an internet connection. The Galaxy AI features extend to photo and video editing too. And we believe this could be one of the most used use cases of the generative AI. So let's look at it in action. We open the gallery app and select a photo. Now, we tap on edit button and then tap on generative edit button. Here, what we want to do is select a subject and move it to a different location within the frame. The AI will take a bit of time to recreate the scenery and add generative fill. And as you can see, the generative AI did a very good job. And you can see this in the before and after photo. In the next example, we'll try to remove the person from the photo and see what the AI does to it. And as you can see, the AI has nicely removed the person from the photo without even a trace. But now, let's try something even more challenging. How about we remove the subject from the photo and add a completely new person altogether? Let's go ahead and do that. And even here, the generative AI edit feature does not disappoint, as you can see in the before and after photos. Do note that the photos edited in the generative AI edit mode have a watermark on the bottom left corner, and they also have a metadata suggesting that it is an edited photo. Do note, this is a hybrid AI feature and needs an internet connection to work. Now, there are times when we click photos and they have those reflections on the glass or we have a shadow on person's face. Well, the gallery app does offer suggestions to remove those in a few clicks. Here is an example of how we can erase reflections from the photo. And it, as you can see, it does a pretty good job. And in this next example, we'll remove the shadows from the person's face. Again, the AI does a good job. But as you can notice, the colors look a little washed out. And those were some photo editing features. And for videos, the AI can add instant slow motion to your normal videos, making them look a little bit more dramatic. You can do this by simply tapping and holding on the screen and see how the slow motion would look like on this video. Then you can tap on the edit button, select the section you want to add a slow motion to, followed by choosing the slow motion speed, and that's it, you're done. And this is how the slowed down video looks like. Lastly, there is also generative AI wallpaper feature where you can generate cool wallpapers using some predefined key phrases. You can choose from different themes such as imagery, mineral, terrain, painting, and more. There are predefined key phrases where you can select up to three keywords to better describe the image you want to generate. And here is a quick example of it. So those were some of the interesting Galaxy AI features 
and use cases that you can try on your S24 series right now. The update is also rolling out to older devices like the Galaxy S23 series, the Galaxy Flip and Fold 5. So you can also try these features on these older devices as well. As most of the processing is happening on device, you don't need to worry about the data leaving your device. There is also an on-device mode which you can activate, but with that, you'll lose access to features like AI summarization and generative edit, which require an internet connection as it's an hybrid AI feature. So, which one is your favorite feature? Do let us know in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, do click on the like button. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell icon so that you are notified about each and every video when they are published. For now, it's Ritesh signing off and see you in the next one. Bye.